Mo, Mo, Mo. How do you like him? How do you like him? This is Dark Simpsons Mysteries. Hello YouTube. The focus of today's case is none other than everybody's favorite bartender, Jacques Strap. Listen to me, you. When I catch you, I'm going to pull out your eyes and shove them down your pants so you can watch me kick the crap out of you, okay? Then I'm going to use your tongue to paint my boat. Our mystery begins in Season 16's future episode, Future Drama. Feast your eyes on the wondrous world of eight years from Tuesday. In the episode, we meet Mo and his clone. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo, clone. Oh, hi, Homer. Hi, Homer. Hey, hey, hey. I don't pay you to socialize. All oh, right, you're the people person. It's quite ridiculous, but I have evidence that shows that this is actually a canon event. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's true. Mo does indeed have a clone, and he was around a lot earlier than we all realized. This is the case of Mo's secret clone. I first got the sense that something was off when Mo threw out his copy of Little Woman. He loves that book. And then they realized they were no longer little girls. They were little women. That's when I decided to investigate further and found Exhibit A. In Season 25's episode, White Christmas Blues, Springfield is the only town in America with snow. People! Springfield is now the only town in America that has snow this Christmas. So tourists are going to want to come here. Stay in our hotels! Slurp our spaghetti. I say we welcome our winter tourists with open arms. That's when we can see both Mo and his clone. I've never been so close to rubbing my eyes in disbelief. No, oh, what the heck? Huh? Huh? Yes, so it's undeniable that Moe's clone exists in present-day Springfield. Now I can't help but wonder if Homer was actually hallucinating in this scene, or if it's the beginning of a clone takeover. Hey Homer! 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 Cloning would also explain... Exhibit B, Little Mose is Slack. Why does everybody call me that? Bunch of snot-faced puke bags. In season 17's episode, The Monkey Suit, the school started teaching creationism over evolution. So Lisa formed a secret underground club. Dear seekers of truth, meet in the school single purpose room tomorrow at lunch. Rationally yours, LMS. LMS, who could it be? Little Mo Sizzlack? We both know this isn't Mo's son. Mo is so ugly and hate-filled, no woman would touch him. Hey, I may be ugly and hate-filled, but I... Um... What was the third thing you said? Cloning would also explain Joe from Shelbyville and the European female Mo. And finally, Exhibit C. In season 18's episode, Marge Gamer, Marge got mad at Bart for killing her in a video game. I was killed by my own son. And Lisa got mad at Homer for giving her a red card during her soccer match. So the boys turned to Mo for advice. Well, I'm just a bartender here, but seems to me you could win Lisa back by appealing to a sense of reason. And you can win your mom back by appealing to her feelings. And here we find out the truth about Mo and his secret clone. Gee, Mo, you give great advice. Yeah, what have you done with the real Mo? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Mo and his clone got into a scuffle and he was tied up. So that means the current Mo wandering around is the evil one. <laughs> Let's see, where is that map? Evergreen Terrace. There it is, F5! <laughs> and there you have it. Undeniable proof that Mo has a clone. Many, in fact. This explains how Mo can continuously commit suicide and still appear on the show. Oh, I knew this would take so long, I'd have put on a TV. Pizza! Your money's on the counter, no tip. Are you miserable bastard? That's why I'm up here. But one question remains. What happened to the good Mo? I'd like to think that he broke free and is flying around rescuing people.
Have you seen something strange in Springfield? Let us know in the comments below. And tune in next time for more Dark Simpsons Mysteries. Dramatization may not have happened. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life.